I don't know if one um, My name is Wei Tang. Right now, I'm a fifth year PhD student in Ocean Science from Duke University, and my PhD advisor is Nicolas Kassar. So, my PhD dissertation is looking at the marine nitrogen fixation and how it's connected to the marine carbon cycle. So, marine nitrogen fixation converts nitrogen gas into more biodegradable nitrogen species, including like ammonia, and then it can in turn uh, relieve the nitrogen mutation in oceans, as well as the also phytoplankton and essentially can lead to like, carbon uptake or sequestration. So however, there's still a large uncertainty in terms of the global distribution and the global flux, and also there are a lot of unknowns about the diversity of the organisms that that job responsible for like, fixation in the ocean. So um, during my PhD, I'm using three different approaches to look at uh, pro this process at global scale, regional scale, and molecular level. So first of all, I'm using the machine learning techniques to estimate the global distribution of nitrogen fixation based on the field of observation. And this will be the poster I'm presenting the, uh, during the OCB. And one big uh, conclusion from this first, uh, study is that no single environmental factor can predict uh, the global uh, distribution of nitrogen fixation. And also there are huge uh, discrepancies between different models. So um, from this study, we're wondering, well, if you want to understand this process better, we need more observations in the ocean. That's the reason why our lab developed a new method that can measure in nitrogen fixation at uh, really high frequency. So in contrast to the previous uh, method, we can map this process uh, continuously and at uh, high, really high frequency. So our study shown really contrast distribution from open to coastal regions. And in the end, we also used some marker genes um, to identify and quantify the dash of communities community um, composition and look at the gene expression. So on the outside of the study, we also look at the carbon cycle, and so there are a lot of uh, simulation about the carbon exports and how uh, the community production. So we're looking at uh, the, what might be the contribution from the fixation to the carbon exports. And regional scale, we have the continuous net, NC, net community production measurements derived from O2 Arca, and then we can Look at the contribution from nitrogen fixation to the community production at a really fine scale. And in the end, we also have those molecular techniques. We use the 18, 16S, 18S sequencing to look at the whole microbial community. And we want to look at the interaction between the diastrophs and other uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So, this is my three different methods looking at nitrogen fixation from global, regional, and the molecular level. And if you're interested, then I'm really looking forward to talking to you, doing my poster, and doing our time. Thank you so much.